Hey guys, this is JC, Latin Pianist. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to jazz up your chords. So uh, this is a really fun tutorial that we're gonna go through some chords and how to make those chords that you already know or should know how to make them sound jazzy. So um, thanks for stopping in and hope you learned something. God bless. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, learn how to jazz up a chord. So the number one rule is that uh, we're gonna be teaching you today how to jazz up all the minor chords, okay? So once I teach you how to uh, jazz up a, a minor chord, you're pretty much gonna use the same formula and apply it to all the minor chords that you see. Okay, so for the beginners, uh, if you go to C, this is C right here, right? But we're gonna have to minor it, okay? And this is how we're gonna show you how to uh, jazz up this chord okay so the formula is the following okay so for for those of you who don't understand half steps and whole steps I don't want to confuse you but I just for the sake of this tutorial um, I want to explain it in the next 30 seconds okay so half step means you're gonna go from one key to the other one regardless of the color of the key okay so if we're going from here to here, that's a half step. If we're going from here to here, it's a half step. From here to here, it's a half step, half step, half step, half step. So you're basically playing all the chords next to each other, okay? When I say next to each other, I'm saying literally physically next to each other. Those are called half steps. If you're skipping one from here for here, you're skipping this one, then that's a whole step, okay? That's all I'm talking about, half steps and whole steps. So back to the tutorial. So if we're on, C minor the formula is the I'm gonna call these the first second and third keys we're gonna bring the first key two half steps down so that means that I'm gonna change it from here one two to there okay now the second note which is this one right here I'm gonna bring it up just half step up up means to the right, so I'm gonna bring it right here, which is E, okay? This is A sharp, E, okay, now I got my last key, which is not right now on G, and it's gonna be two half steps up, so it's gonna be there and there. So there you go, that's my chord, okay? So right there I am playing C minor, but in a jazz version. Normal C, jazz up, so you can use your thumb, you can use your index, however you feel more comfortable. You can use this finger as well, but uh, and then on the last one you can use your pinky to have easier access to the to the uh, to the chord. So this is the jazz up chord for C minor. If we would bring it back to normal, that's C minor, okay. But we want to jazz it up. There you go, okay. So um, we're, let's jump to the D minor chord, okay. D minor is right here. That's D minor normal. Okay, so we're gonna jazz it up using the same formula. Remember that the first key, you go down, which means left, two half steps. Right there, okay, the second finger, or the second key, is gonna be half step, only one up, which means to the right. So there it is, and then my last one is gonna be two half steps up. And that's D minor jazz version. If you apply this formula to all of your chords, you're gonna be playing jazz chords, guys. So these, these are some tricks that I'm showing you so you can start implementing them in your playing if you are a jazz fan, which I am, so. So normal D minor, jazz, D minor, okay? And you can do that with anything, just name a chord. Let's just say E, okay? So obviously, if you're playing E, we're gonna make it minor okay apply the same formula right there right there right there that's e minor jazz up e minor normal and then you can just apply that to any progression any uh you know any course that you know of, of a song you can just apply it and we can make uh play it in salsa music latin jazz um so one of the progressions that is very popular right now or has been for many years which is my first tutorial actually uh, one of my first tutorials talked about this progression progression uh, from D to G C F B E A it's a very old traditional 
you know, corito style uh, progression. D, G, C, F, B, E, A. Okay, so if you go, uh, if you use the progression from D, uh, if you do the, if you play the bass on here, if you're playing land jazz, you can just... formula for the left hand by the way is you're gonna skip from the root note you're gonna skip one two three four five six okay or five I should say uh, five notes so you're gonna do uh, five half steps up and then the sixth one is where you play and then you're gonna play the octave D and D that's octave right there the next chord that you're going to go from D is the G according to the traditional transition that we just talked about same formula right so on the right hand you're going to take D minor but you're going to jazz it up it should be right there and you're just going to play it when it's time to change the next chord is going to be G so if we take the same formula and apply it but make sure that you're gonna minor the chord first, okay? So we take that, we minor it, and then we can work with it. So then do the formula. Two half steps down right here, one half step up, two half steps up, and that's your G. So when you're playing that, that's gonna be your second chord. So when you are playing D, you're gonna go from D, which is the, the D version of the, of the jazz chord, right there you're gonna go directly to G which is right there okay so one thing that I do here is use the inversion so if I'm using, if I'm going from here to here Instead of doing this huge jump from D minor to G, I might as well use my inversion. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this chord, which is the G minor jazz up style. But I'm going to use the inversion right here, right there. It's the same one. This one is the same as this one, okay? So if I'm playing D minor to G, it's going to sound like this. Playing the left hand and the right hand, which uh, can be challenging, is part of you know what you need to do to make it sound nice. Okay, now I'm gonna do it with both hands. I'm gonna put the phone, and that way you can hear how it's supposed to sound. Uh, so we're gonna do uh, again. We're gonna do the only two notes of the progression, or three notes, three chords of the progression. So it's gonna be D minor, G, and then C. Okay. Um, so here we go. <laughs> 